Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you this uh, car smartphone mount with a, with a charger from Ultimate Speed, sorry, from uh, Silvercrest, not Ultimate Speed, available at Lead. But uh, why I have made this, uh, let's say, uh, mistake with Ultimate Speed, because usually, uh, until, let's say, recently, um, little all car related things were uh, brand as a ultimate speed so little is uh, rebranding and uh, now okay um, sorry for the confusion okay what you are paying for and um, as well my quick judgment so so but uh, we will get into it uh, later on charger which is suitable uh, for all smartphones and it's allowing to uh, charge with a maximum of 5 volts and 3 amps and by the way I need to double check it because there is a sentence uh, here that with a uh, USB A output it's uh, uh, 5 volts 2 and uh, 1 amps and with a C output it's uh, uh, up to 3 amps so that means and this is the tricky part, which I'm very positively surprised. You have uh, this type of the cable, which is a C-type, and surprise, surprise, you have an adapter. It is C-type. It's actually adapter. So very tricky because in nowadays, um, I mean, the standard is changing from from this uh, micro USB type into a C-type, not C. C, sorry, yes, C. So uh, either you have uh, two cables or you can have such like this one. I mean, the, the it would be a, like a heaven to have a, as well adapter for the for the uh, iPhone, but you never know. Okay, uh, why my opinion is I would say so so because it's so small, it's so tiny compared to my smartphone. Um, and uh, by the way, the, 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 the way how to release it, it's a um, it's little bit uh, for me not practical because in car you are doing everything with one hand. I mean, yes, okay, you should do it on the, on the parking spot, but we know how it is with it um, in practical way. So in practical, in real life. So pressing underneath just to release it and then in some way mounted it I don't think it's uh, the, the, the best idea I would rather expect to have some kind of uh, um, mechanism that allows you to to do it uh, in different way I don't have an opinion uh, how to s solve it I don't have an idea how to solve it but my opinion is that uh, it's not so practical as it could be uh, other things rather standard uh, nice uh, thing is this uh, silver belt that allows you to to pull it it more in in the with a uh, higher comfort I would say but it shouldn't be a not big deal to uh, manage it without it so uh, let's move into a practical test and we will see how it's uh, charging because I have an application that it's allowing to monitor it, to check the, the current uh, uh, that is supplied by the charger. So let's move into a practical test. Hello, I am back and let's test the, the efficiency of, the, of, a, of a charger. And how many we've got? Minus 360, it's a consumption. And charging current is measuring. I will do my best to, to allow you to see it. Only poor 300 milliamps. It's, it's not so much. In terms of the voltage, St 
still measuring again. Three hundred forty milliamps. That's the that's the maximum. What you can. In terms of practicality, now I will try to mount it with my one hand. It's it's doing something. And by the way, the current increased from three hundred up to thousand. 100 something which is odd so now I try to release it um, I would say not the most convenient way but uh, good enough okay I would say good enough but I wouldn't buy it because it's how to say it I would expect something different and uh, I don't think on the potholes it will be able to to keep it in 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 place. I'm doing my best, and it's it's still quite loose. Okay, thank you for watching. Stay tuned, and see you next time. Bye.